and this conference is called the Crossing the Bridge Conference. Our aim is to see people find ways to engage around the race conversation and other areas of division that are hindering us from being able to have uh, human flourishing for everyone. You know, several years back, um, a group, an intimate group of about 70 friends <laughs> went to go see uh, Selma. And after that, we met in a location after the movie and just began to have a conversation about the impact of what we saw. So 70 of us are at tables of eight and they share, how did that movie impact you? And so we asked everyone at the table, share what is your feeling, what's your thought based on what's going on in our country uh, in race relations. And the conversation was amazing. And out of that grew the Crossing the Bridge Conference, taken from the movie where they crossed the Pettus Bridge um, together. Black, white, men, women, young and old, crossed the bridge in unity um, around the issue of race. And so this conference grew out of that and as a chance to continue the conversation. We want to have conversations in which churches and, and people of goodwill from different parts of the city are talking about what the needs are and what the opportunities in, in their parts of the city. So I'm a pastor in South Oklahoma City where we have a lot of tremendous opportunities, uh, but we also have a lot of challenges of poverty and education challenges, public health challenges. So um, I've been doing some workshops and, and teaching on some panels to help um, people learn a little bit about what's happening in the inner city of South OKC and what are some of the ways that we can work uh, to improve conditions and to empower leaders from that part of the city. Bringing people into a space where we can talk human being to human being outside of the political divide was really fruitful. And by bringing them together and helping them share their stories, giving them a platform to share their stories, it has literally changed people's lives and perspectives. Even though this started several years ago as a conversation among friends, it has now extended beyond relationships that were already established to people who really want to be learners and want to engage and who acknowledge that this may be an uncomfortable conversation for them and for others, but they're going to step over that barrier that kind of surrounds uh, and protects our sense of comfort and engage in uncomfortable conversation for the good of their city. We, we've got an opportunity in a situation where America is increasingly polarized uh, along political lines for sure and often along ethnic lines and economic lines as well to say, hey, God unites us and that's bigger than what might separate us. So let's sit down, let's really listen to each other, let's share from our hearts, let's talk about how different public policy issues affect the lives of, really, of real human beings and discuss how we can move forward together to make a stronger community for everybody. There's a new collaboration between the news stations here in Oklahoma City, newspaper, radio, people who are typically in competition with each other. Um, are now working collaboratively to promote a conversation around race in our state. And it's not being done anywhere else in the country. And it's a part of what Stronger Together is engaged in. A lot of times around this race conversation, it's so easy to uh, feel powerless, where you think what I'm doing isn't going to make a difference. And now we see people discovering the power of opening your home, the power of inviting people to the table, and in the power of being courageous and having a voice around your friends in this conversation.